Zimbabwe, on the other hand, has a healthy lion population. Officials are using revenue from hunting to the, the big cuts to support conservation efforts and develop communities. However, the country came under fire after the controversial killing of Cecil the Lion in 2015. CGTN's Farai Mokutuya spoke to an official from the country's Parks and Wildlife Authority about measures to control hunting. We have ensured that uh, all lions which are below the age of six are not legally hunted or harvested. At that stage, the lion or the cubs, they would have been matured enough to take care of themselves and also to form their own pride. So that's, that's the age limit that we are looking at. At six years, the lion would have, would have matured. And all hands are accompanied by our park rangers to ensure that at least uh, clients, they stick to what we have agreed in the, in the permit. The lion population in this country is health. We are sitting on uh, between 1,500 and 2,000 uh, lions throughout the country. And uh, over the past few years, the lion population in the country and also in the region, including South Africa and other countries, our neighboring countries, the lion population has been increasing with an average of 6% annually. But uh, unfortunately, in other regions, maybe in the East, West Africa, that's where the lion population has been decreasing. But uh, globally, uh, the the lion's population have been decreasing, maybe because the other blocks, they are bigger than the southern block. Yeah. But our lion's population are health, and because of those measures that we've put in place. Does the revenue that's realized from hunting contribute towards conservation? We have had problems, especially in the southern parts of the country, in terms of uh, the human wildlife conflict with 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 with, uh, with the lions, because primarily maybe the communities they feel they're not benefiting enough. But uh, our aim and is uh, we want to ensure that communities benefit from these lions through employment creation or through plowing back to the community, infrastructure development, schools, construction, and other related infrastructure, so that at least communities feel they are part and parcel of the development taking place in those areas.